Oh, no, I'm not taking any. Yeah. I'm just going to say thank you to our faith leaders um, uh, who have come today to uh, stand and show uh, that the city um, is in the hands of individuals who want a unity, show light. Um, and also to, of course, um, I, I want to do a special shout out to Reverend Terry Lee, who have been on the forefront helping communities as well, uh, who is here today. Uh, some of the heroes that we talked about that is not mentioned often. So blessings to all, and again, happy holidays. May Adams. Uh, we, I want to, you know, uh, before our religious leaders, many of them have been part of the asylum seeker crisis migrants, and I just want to thank them, and I just want to give a brief update. As you know, yesterday uh, I was in Washington, D.C. Uh, to meet with uh, our congressional leaders and to meet with the White House, and I wanted to take the opportunity at the uh, White House uh, celebration for the holiday season, because I knew I would have a gathering of lawmakers, uh, mayors uh, from across the country, and I was able to speak with the mayor of Chicago and leaders from uh, Massachusetts and others. And we're seeing the same thing across the entire country. Our residents are weary, our residents are angry, our residents are seeing the impact of the migrant and asylum seeker issue, how it is taken away uh, from the rest, the resources that should go to the day-to-day -day services of running the city. Uh, we did not walk out uh, from D.C. with any level of optimism that anything is going to uh, drastically change. Uh, it, it is clear that for the time being, uh, this crisis is going to be carried by the cities. Um, here in New York City, as you know, uh, we had a very uh, painful November plan that we had to produce, and now we're looking forward or in the direction of how do we address the $7 billion budget deficit that we have to address in January. And these men and women behind me who are service providers in some way or another, they see firsthand of what these cuts are doing and will do. This is not the budget we want to pass, the budget we wanted to pass, clearly invested in children and families and those who are in need. Uh, we are at an untenable situation right now, and it is painful for us, uh, it is painful for the city, and I think that you see it being reflected in the polls. It is because our federal government actions have taken a toll on the people of this city. Uh, we're going to continue to do our job um, in this administration, uh, but it's, these are extremely challenging times. And as I left uh, Washington, D.C., I did not leave with optimism. I left with the cold reality uh, that uh, help is not on the way in the immediate uh, future. It is going to be at this moment, it's going to be up to New Yorkers and this administration to continue to navigate this, this challenge that we're facing. Okay, thank you.